Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Saroj Parajuli. Today we are going to talk about the stability of RNA and compare it with the stability of DNA and see why RNA is less stable compared with the stability of DNA. In the last video, we talked about the structure and composition of RNA. And if you want to watch that video on the structure and composition of RNA and also on the structure and composition of DNA, I will provide the link uh, to those videos in the description section and you can watch those videos from the link provided and that will help you to understand the stability of RNA and the stability of DNA and compare between those two. Of course, RNA is less stable compared with the stability of the DNA. The DNA molecule is the genetic information of the cell or an organism. However, RNA is the expression of those genes by the process of transcription and in the presence of an enzyme called RNA polymerase. And we'll talk about the transcription and the expression of genes in coming videos. However, here we are just going to compare between those two structures, RNA and DNA. Next, we'll focus into three different reasons why RNA is less stable compared with the structure of the DNA. The first reason why RNA is less stable compared to the structure of DNA is the presence of single stranded molecule in the RNA and the presence of double stranded molecule in the DNA. So we can see this is a RNA molecule and this is a single stranded molecule and this is a single stranded chemical structure of RNA molecule. However, this figure on the right, this is the chemical structure of the double stranded DNA molecule. In the RNA molecule, we can see there is a single strand and there is no base pair between the bases. However, in the DNA, in the DNA between two nucleotides, there is hydrogen bond and between thymine and adenine nucleotide there is two hydrogen bond and between guanine and cytosine there is three hydrogen bond and these hydrogen bonds provide the thermodynamic stability to the structure of the DNA molecule and in addition to providing the thermodynamic stability it also supports the phosphodiester bond and helps to maintain the double stranded molecule structure. However, these bonds are absent in RNA molecule and they are easily susceptible to the external factor and they become less stable compared with the DNA molecule. Next, the second reason why RNA is less stable compared with the structure of DNA is the presence of ribose sugar in the RNA molecule. However, there is a presence of deoxyribose sugar in the DNA molecule. So how deoxyribose sugar is different from ribose sugar? So there is one extra hydroxyl group in ribose sugar compared with the deoxyribose sugar. And what happens in the pentose sugar of the ribose sugar, one extra hydrogen, hydroxyl group will make this molecule more susceptible. and this can lead to the hydrolysis in the presence of the water. That means this molecule can break down in the presence of the water. That is why the ribose sugar is less stable compared with the deoxyribose sugar and the presence of this extra hydroxyl group compared with the deoxyribose sugar, the RNA is more susceptible. Finally, the third reason why RNA is less stable compared with the DNA molecule is the presence of thymine. So if we see in RNA molecule, the thymine is replaced by the molecule uracil. So let's look at the structure of thymine and uracil. So if we remove this methyl group, then thymine and uracil are same. Therefore, in DNA molecule, there is a presence of thymine and this thymine is a methylated group. However, in RNA, there is the presence of uracil and uracil is not methylated. Hence, 
due to the methylation of the thymine the dna structure is more stable due to the methylation and rna molecule it is less stable because is it doesn't have any methylated group or methyl group in its base so this is the reason why rna is less stable compared with the dna molecule in summary we talked about three different reason why rna is less stable compared with the dna the first reason was the presence of single stranded molecule in rna compared with the double stranded molecule in dna where there is the presence of two or three hydro hydrogen bonds and second reason was the presence of the ribose sugar where there is one hydroxyl group and due to the presence of the hydroxyl group the ribose sugar is less stable and rna becomes less stable compared with the dna molecule and third reason why rna is less stable compared with the dna molecule is the presence of the base uracil which lacks methyl group and methyl group provides more stability to the dna however the lack of methyl group in the uracil makes rna molecule to be more susceptible to external factors compared with the dna molecule thank you so much for watching this video if you like my content and want to learn more about molecular biology genetics genomics biotechnology and genetic engineering please subscribe to my channel and also like comment and share in your community thank you so much and see you in next video